Hi, everyone. I'm Constance Pearson, and um, I'm a woman in long-term recovery myself um, by the grace of God and um, a 12-step fellowship. I haven't found it necessary to take a drink or uh, illicit drug to feel happy or motivated or calm or um, whatever since December 21st, 1994. And I am truly grateful to have God's grace and power in my life today. That's that's what I do every day. I get up in the morning, my feet hit the floor because I'm not one to get on my knees anymore. <laughs> um, and I ask God to help me stay sober that day and show me how I can help another person and show me what his will is for me and give me the power to carry it out. And it works. I'm afraid to not do that because it works so well. <laughs> so anyway, um, I appreciate having the power of God's love in my life. Um, and um, to have an opportunity to meet so many wonderful people um, like Dennis. Um, I too, am, I'm a Red Cross volunteer, disaster volunteer. I'm a mental health professional. And I uh, became acquainted with Baptist on Mission because of the um, thousands of people that they feed uh, after a disaster. I started with Hurricane Matthew. And I would, in the morning, I would go to, they would be at a Baptist church, and they would have these huge kitchens, and uh, they, would the, um, uh, they would be lined up getting ready to take meals out to people, to, to feed thousands of people every day. And it was just the love that you felt um, was just incredible. And the organization <laughs> was impressive, too. And, and, and the Baptists on mission put us up in, um, in um, shelters and things like that and took good care of us. So I'm very appreciative of that. And then when I met Dennis um, here in Rockingham and he offered to um, um, build the Women's Treatment Center, I, th I thought, well, gee, I thought maybe they just built ramps or something around here. <laughs> um, he came to uh, see us at the architect's uh, office and uh, told me what, um, what they were willing to do and I was just, awestruck. Um, it still just um, brings tears to my eyes um, about um, the power of God's love. And this, this project is a community project. Um, it's, it's just what I'm hoping for um, when it's built with love, when it's, when it's built with God's power. It's, it's going to be the right thing. Um, I don't know how many of you know about Samaritan Colony. It's a 12-bed residential treatment center for men with substance use disorders. And um, we've been serving men for 47 years, almost 50 years. And we've served about 5,000 men so far. And that's a lot of families. And recovery is about families and bringing families together. Um, and so that's what our goal is. Um, however, we need a treatment program for women. Um, I looked at some statistics recently, and um, although I like to talk about solutions, and I know you hear a lot about this opioid epidemic and things like that, but in this area here, in the Sand Hills area, we, we lose um, one female every week. Um, to a drug overdose. Um, and so it's getting worse and worse and worse as we go along. So we can't get this center built quick enough. Um, the solution is uh, we're building a 14-bed residential treatment center for women who have not only experienced problems with drugs and alcohol, but have also, many women have had problems or experienced trauma in their life, uh, whether it's uh, sexual assault, physical assault, domestic violence, um, uh, those types of things, and so we'll be treating their, their trauma also at the same time. And um, um, the, uh, the Baptists on mission have agreed to help us out with it. So we're so grateful for that. Um, I, um, I think, you know, I was wondering what I would say to you when I got up here, and I'm not gonna talk very long, but probably the most important thing that I wanna say is thank you to all of you. Some of you have been donors, and I'm not here asking for money today. We've got the money to build the facility. Um, that's the good thing. Um, we uh, even have a little bit of money to pad it to cover the um, rising cost of materials. Right now, we're, we're looking at um, 
what it's going to take, I think, to staff the facility, to, you know, programming and things like that. You have a building, but we still need to do more. Um, but I wanted to thank you for what you have contributed, um, not just and not just from a monetary point of view. Um, it's, it's talking to your neighbors about um, recovery, that recovery is possible. That helps to reduce the stigma of addiction. Um, and so in reducing the stigma of addiction is, helps people get into treatment better, quicker, um, because that's what keeps them from getting in there is this, um, the shame and so forth. And so um, keep on talking to your neighbors and telling them about this women's program, that there is hope for our community and that not just for the women, but for, for the men to continue with the men and also to, to bring families together again because um, uh, that's what's most important. I was, we were singing the song, the first song today, it talked about um, he made the, um, the lame to walk and the blind to see. And, you know, personally, my recovery, that's what happened in my life. And um, so that's what we want to do with the women's program also. So anyway, thank you for your time and thank you for your love. And I know we'll see some of you at the Build in the near future. <laughs>